decided for April to do different decades for the different weeks and um, then I had the idea to make it more of an immersive experience because I was getting really into researching all the history and uh, the styles and how they changed year by year for the 60s and 70s and I decided at the end of the week to film this whole thing so I had already done all the dailies for the first five days of the week um, but I will show them here just in case you also wanted to copy them. Um, for this page, I took an image I found on Pinterest and I copied it in pencil. Um, I'm not a drawer per se, but I'm trying to learn, so copying things like this is uh, really helpful. And I didn't erase it uh, before drawing over it with pen because I was nervous that I would forget what was there. So then I just made a couple of dailies for Saturday and Sunday, and I filled in the rest with daisies, some little details, and then I started to color the whole thing in. I will also leave the image down in the description box, a link to it, so that you can copy it if you'd like to.
I asked my mom, um, because she was 10 years old in 1966, what she would do on a Saturday morning, and she told me that she always woke up early and watched all the Saturday morning cartoons, like the Jetsons and uh, the Flintstones and all that. So we decided to watch the Jetsons, which I remember watching as a kid, like the 80s version. Um, but hey, fun fact, the Jetsons is super problematic. Um, we could barely get through the first episode. Actually, we didn't get through it. Um, because apparently, you know, they could imagine flying cars, but not the fact that women would want to do anything besides being a homemaker. So, there's that. Just makes me feel, you know, I like that we live now because we can go back and kind of like enjoy all the styles and things from the past, but without having to actually live there. So I continued coloring the rest of the drawing. Um, like I said, you can find this in the description box. I believe it's also a print that you can buy, so please go support the artist. Um, and yeah, so basically I realized that this whole video is like, you know, a mashup of 60s and 70s. It is not accurate <laughs> to any sort of time it's a real mishmash I kept asking my mom I was like hey um if you saw this image what year would you think it was and she's like I don't know like 67 can be 71 too like so I think that uh with this whole thing I recognize it's very stereotypical of you know I looked on Pinterest for images so but it was still really fun and I liked um, going through all of, I have these stickers from Bando, and there's so many 60s, 70s style uh, stickers in there, and even, you know, a lot of the style that's in right now is very 60s, 70s, um, and so I could find a lot of inspiration. So I found like a button that I used to make copy for this make love not war. It says make love not war. I know you can't tell. Um, and I wanted it to be like without an outline. As you can see it didn't really work. That's alright. Had fun anyway. Uh, and then I just drew a lot of doodles. A lot of doodles because I am not a minimalist. I am absolutely a maximalist. So. Even when I'm like, yeah, that looks good, I'm like, hmm, well, maybe I should just keep going a little more. A few more doodles. So that's exactly what I did.
So this is it, the finished spread. I'm going to do a few close-ups here so that you can see all the stuff that I did not draw in this video. Um, I also copied these from Pinterest. Not exactly, I kind of took a few different elements of things and made it my own. But I will also link all of the inspiration that I had um, and everything that I copied from in the link below so that you can check it out. This whole spread was seriously super fun and I just had a great time. It actually started, funny enough, see these stickers here? It was a whole page of these stickers that I found and I was like, I love this as a theme. And thus began the uh, 60s, 70s theme. For this page, I, um, you'll see below, there's a link to a whole bunch of like drawings of these California um, desert-like images that I, I pretty much literally copied and use those as my daily headers. And here is what I drew from the weekend. So I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. And stick around for next week, which is going to be 80s, 90s. Alright, peace out. Tell if this eyeliner sucks or if I suck at doing this. Are you zooming in on my eyeliner face? I'm zooming in on your mouth. I don't know, that's how I'm. And he's just stepped right over here. <laughs> Look, he's just laying on him. <laughs>